spend a few minutes of your time watching this video as prepared so that you will know about the organization that is in place and the candidates uh, that we have already vetted that will do a good job when elected. Jack Roser is the founder of the Republican Renaissance Pact and chairman of auto engineering, which employs 600 people manufacturing aircraft controls and communication products, and has provided the space and facilities for the Renaissance Pack. The Republican Renaissance Pack has facilities and personnel in place to make this happen. We have the 3,500 square foot historical Liberty Hall for meetings and events, an office staffed with full-time employees and many volunteers in many counties. Jim Edwards is the executive director of the Renaissance PAC, a former mayor of Sycamore and business executive. The Republican Renaissance PAC has a mission to find, empower, and elect principled conservative candidates for Illinois offices from the top down and from the bottom up. Uh, we mean that when we say that, and from the top down, obviously, we're interested in all the high profile offices. From the bottom up, we're interested in, in precinct committeemen. And uh, we are working with uh, dozens and dozens of precinct committeemen. Uh, that's the from the bottom up part. James Bassett is the development director, a former city manager and an organizer for a large charter school. Jack Grosser is one of the most incredible human beings I've ever met. Uh, politically astute, very principled. Uh, the people that are surrounding us um, are incredible people that have a vision for what they want to do for the state of Illinois. Jesse D. Splinter is the precinct development coordinator and liaison to the Tea Party 912 groups. Jesse is an attorney and political organizer. And it doesn't matter whether the politicians got a D behind their name or an R behind the name, they're fleecing the taxpayers. And so I get up every day and I come to the PAC because somebody has to do something about it. Now what's interesting about it is that those with an R behind their name, their platform says different than they act. I come to the PAC every day so that way we can work to bring those with R's behind their name back to the platform which they promised the citizens when elected. Providing solidarity and leadership to the Republican Renaissance PAC is the Committee of 100 a group of politically active members who realize in order to change the status quo will require investment and intentional strategy. We give money to a party and all of a sudden find that the money goes to candidates that do not back our concept of government. Committee of 100 member Ron Gitwitz says, to my knowledge there is nobody else in the state that is performing this type of activity. A few years ago Lee Iacocca wrote a book where have all the leaders gone? I wonder the same thing. I'm sure a lot of people do. Where have all the leaders gone? Uh, there's a tremendous weakness in a lot of our leadership these days. We are searching for the leaders, the leaders that will stand up, that have the spine to do what's right, that aren't worried about what's politically correct, that will take initiative and speak their mind because if they speak the truth, they don't have to worry about being politically correct. The Republican Renaissance PAC is here to assist the people of Illinois in taking back our state. You can criticize about what's going on, you can complain about what's going on, or you can join us in making things happen. There are doers and shakers in this world, and there are people that just sit back and watch the world go by. We're not going to do that. The Republican Renaissance PAC is all about making things happen. And the way we're going to make things happen is by getting these decent, conservative, uh, people with initiative integrity uh, elected into office so that we can get things done that needs to be done in Illinois. We the people must rise together to meet this challenge. This is your chance to see how you can get involved and protect your stake in the state of Illinois.